Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. It is that time of year. Yeah, January 15th. It's the time when people say, you know what? Forget my New Year's resolutions. Screw it. I'm going back to me. I'm going to fall back into those old patterns because I have a habit of being me. This is just too hard. I like being me, by golly. Life's too busy for me to change. (laughs) Change is hard. Change is hard. It takes some planning and preparation and just practice. Practice makes progress. And that is why in the past, if you've listened to us, Jason and I often say resolutions don't work always. I mean, for the, I think it's for 8%, maybe. I think 8% of the people actually achieve their goals. And resolutions don't work because people say, well, I'm going to try Mm. this year. I'm going to try to do this. Well, when you try, you're not resolving the problem. You're not stepping into resolve You're not deciding, this is who I am. You're not making that commitment. You aren't. You're you're leaving just a little door open for, oh, well, you know what? escape. If this doesn't work, I'm going to give myself grace. I'm going (laughs) to give myself a little grace. I'm going to just... I'm going to open the... It's okay. Open a a journal page for excuses. It's just another year. Well, I'm going to tell you something. A year from now, you're going to be listening to a podcast and you're going to be looking in the mirror and you're going to think, wow, I'm in the same place I was last year. I'm feeling the same things I was feeling last year. I'm having the same problems, which is why they're called resolutions. You are re-solving the same problem you had last year because you know what? You don't drop the re- And you don't just solve it and say, let's get to the root of this. And the root is your identity. Give us some statistics. By week three of January, give us the statistics on this. The University of Scranton did this study and they said out of 4,000 adults that 23% of the, the population had abandoned their resolutions in the first week of January. In the first week. After the first week of joining that gym, buying those new workout clothes. Saving money, eating better. Right? Yeah. Then they say, you know what, forget this. Being nice to their family. Yeah, wanting to, <laughs> wanting to have a better marriage. And after that first week, they're like, go take the trash out, damn it. That's your, <laughs> your job. At the end of January, almost half of the of the people had, had given up on their resolutions. By the end of January. So we are at January 15th. Where are you? Ask yourself right now. Let's just do a little self-respecting. <laughs> that, maybe that was maybe a... that is it. That's a Freudian <clears throat> slip, but that's exactly what it is. Let's do a little self-respecting. And self-reflecting. And, and stop lying to ourselves. Where are we? And Where we, are we when in we this? We bring attention to it. So we, you talk about it all the time. What we focus on is where where our attention flows, it grows, right? Mm-hmm. And at the end of February and March, it goes up to sixty percent, and then it just keeps getting more exponentially. It's like, oh well, you know what? The the other members of my family or my neighbors have kind of dropped off. I see them eating cake. I see them. <laughs> You know, not They've showing up for the 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 Zumba class, and you know, we said we were all going to start pickleball, and I'm the only one that. And they want to save their money, but there. they're paying for the gym membership and not going. And and you know what? We had this investing class we were all going to do together. Well, nobody's reading the book. I can tell when we meet for our nightly meetings that I'm the only one that's doing the work. Yeah. So, and, hey. And Warren Buffett says the best investment you can make is in yourself, but I don't show up for the classes. I don't show up for the actual improvement. So if, if I'm the only one doing the work, am I supposed to now just... Pfft, 
pull them along? Am I am I carrying the load for everyone else? And then by the summer, you're down to 8 to 15% of the people that are still sticking to their New Year's resolutions. And are those 8 to 15% in your circle? Ooh. Think about big. that. Because the 8 to 15% that, that are actually sticking to their resolutions, if that's what we want to call them, they are scattered throughout different groups of people. They are scattered different demographics, different areas. So how do we find those people? The The only way to do this is to be accountable for ourselves. Yes. And have a, an accountability partner that is going to be, that you can hold each other accountable in. You know, I I go back always to... Einstein. And he has this quote. What's his quote, Jason? That no problem can be solved with the same level of consciousness that created it. Repeat that one more time, because I think that is so, so important. And I maybe we should put that on the wall. We should. You know what, now that I'm thinking just about right that, over the door in the I, office. A door in the office or maybe that whole painting right there. I think I should just oh, I'm paint down for that, that on that painting. No problem can be solved with the same level of consciousness that created it. And it just says that every problem has a solution, but you've got to raise your level of consciousness. You've got to change the way you're thinking. You've got to move into different... You've got to get out of your box and that's your same... Your sameness. Your sameness. I get. I, I you know gotta that stop I, being you. I get trapped in my own sameness all the time, and oh, that's why too. we have a coach. I do too, which is why we're talking about this. So don't think that we are the. Yeah, we, the we don't have everything now that we have out. all the answers. We've just done a lot, a, a ton of work to try to figure it out and stay. And the reason our sameness. that we have this podcast, and the reason that we show up three times a week, is because it helps us. Stay accountable for ourselves. Amen. Right? Yes. The more we talk the talk, walk the walk, and roll the roll, it feels like it becomes who we are. Yeah. and It, it becomes who we are. And it allows us to get into different rooms, speak to different people, raise our level of consciousness, and get a different way of thinking it, thinking of things so we can actually solve the problem instead of continue to resolve the problem. It helps us grow. And I I feel like we have learned from a lot of people. I know that Ajit, yeah. one of Jason's coaches or mentors who has just been phenomenal with his wisdom and all of the information that he has shared, he has a technique that he does when he sets any kind of goal. Now, I don't want you to think that we don't think goals are good because you have to know where you want to go in life. Right. That's you setting have to your know GPS. Where you want to go, and you have to have measuring sticks of where you are and and where you want to go, and then how... Then you fill that gap. Along the way, yes, you have to know, okay, am I making progress? If not, let's pivot a little bit, and let's start heading this way. So I don't want you to think that we don't think goals are good. It's just I feel like sometimes people get so wrapped up in their means goals, they forget the end. Yeah, and they identify with the means goals and they identify with accomplishing the means goals when if they just identify with who they're becoming in the process of growth and the process of progress. That in other words, the they start saying, well, once I yeah. get college educated, then the if then scenario, then I can get a job and then I can find the right person, start helping people, and then I can start making money. So that's a means goal. That's a means goal is people put off the end result because they feel like they have these steps on the ladder that they need to achieve before they can actually receive mm. the what feelings yes. of what they actually wow. want. And Jason and I, we kind of approach it a little differently. We believe that if you start feeling the mm. feelings that you actually want... And becoming that person... And becoming those feelings, 
then the journey the th to get there just starts happening. Yeah, and the things that you want start showing up for you. It's and it's not passive in any way. It's not because it, it you talk becomes, about how you show up in life is how you experience life and what life returns to you. We've had many people say to us, "You're doing it backwards. You're doing it backwards," and I want to say to them, maybe there's not a right way or a wrong way. Maybe we are onto a secret that you haven't discovered yet. <laughs> and it literally is connecting to our higher selves and deciding, okay, this is what I picture and visualize and imagine of where I'm going. And then we start becoming that. And then the little steps, the little challenges that we face on the way there are just ways for us to grow. And it almost becomes magical because what we let go of our expectations, we let go of the, how are we going to get there? We let go of that. We give that to something bigger, which I call God. We give that to something bigger and we just start feeling the end result. We start feeling those emotions. And I'm going to just add one thing in this. Yes. Don't take advice, financial advice from your broke friends. So when, when people are telling you... I almost you, spit out my coffee. When <laughs> people are telling you that you're doing things the wrong way or going about things backwards. Yes. But your life is like you feel like you're living lucky and you're the things that you're doing are having are producing if it's working, allow it to work. If it, if it is productive and it's doing the things, if, if you're creating a, a wealthy lifestyle for yourself and that's your goal, don't take advice from your broke friends <laughs> because they don't know how to do it. They're just wanting to tell you how to do it and, and look at where they are. And that's people just want to be heard and feel valuable. Like if that's where and what they you're also, at. and it's not saying that they don't have have nuggets and information that is extremely helpful. So yeah, that's true. Keep your eyes and ears open. But a but lot of times you ultimately make your own decision. And a lot of times we do listen to outside influences that don't have what we're looking to get, but they want to have the advice because they have an objective viewpoint on what we are doing, which is just crazy. And when I hear people tell us that that we're doing things backwards, I feel that sometimes and I want to lean into what they're saying. But then I look at what we've created, the the life we're living, the house, we like the things that we have, the relationship that we have. The love. The, uh, yes. The love and the joy. I mean, we're unbreakable. And we're I'm unstoppable. Like, uh, uh, ultimately, isn't that what we're... What we're the ex I feel like the experience of life joy. that I'm having right now yes. is incredible. Right. And we sh we're shooting for extraordinary, and I do feel like that I have that. Okay, so we're 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 coaching. Ourselves. I squirreled off a little bit. <laughs> we're just being vulnerable for you. Think of it that way. Here's the thing. I was speaking of Ajit, and Ajit has this technique of how he sets his goals, which helps him reach them. Yeah. So it's the MTO principle and it's setting that the, like your target goal, mm -hmm. which is the T in the MTO. Okay. So that's the target. The one that you know, I can reach that even in my sleep. I mean, if that's, I just show up and be consistent, I know that I'm going to get to And that it's goal. a stretch. Then you have your minimum. But you know that it is it's doable. Doable. Yeah. With if you put in the work and you show up for yourself and you, you show up for that 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 goal, you can get it done. Yeah, you know. Then you have a minimum, a minimum acceptance goal. Like where where like if I hit the minimum, I'm still gonna be happy. I'm still gonna be a thing because I showed up 80% of the time. I showed up and I did my best, and there were some circumstances that I might have Okay, so into. I feel like there's a little, dis uh, there's a blurred line. I'm not sure the difference between the first step and the second so one. So I went to the second step, which is the target. So you want to have a target and then you want to have a minimum that you're still happy with and you can celebrate. 
Okay, so let's start with the the very very okay the your, bottom rung. The very bottom rung. The very is, bottom rung is your is minimum the... acceptable growth amount. So okay, if you so... want to grow ten percent, that's going to be your minimum, and say, okay, I'm happy. I did. Ha- I was su- quote unquote successful. And this is the goal you can reach in your sleep. That is a goal you can you should be able to reach in your sleep. If and you really, continue all doing you have the same do, things with a different level of mindset and growth, you should be able to hit that. Yeah, okay. So that's your minimum level of, okay, this is my goal. I can do this. I know I can do this. Then the the second rung of your, the tier, the second tier, we'll call it tier. Is your target. And that's going to be exciting and a, a push. Like that's going to say, this requires a little bit more than than your average Now, the day. reason this is important is because you want to wake up your soul. Mm. You want to wake up your spirit. And when you do that, then all of a sudden, you have a little pep in your step. And when that alarm goes off, it is like, mm. okay, wait a minute. I got I got a life purpose here. I've got things to contribute. I've got things to see I've people got to value do. to give to the world. Let's get up and get it done. Yeah, you literally bounce out of bed in the morning. It excites you. It starts to light the fire within. It lights that ember and it starts putting a little flame like woo. And the O is your outrageous goal. Okay, so then the third tier which is what I call your wig. And this is your wildly improbable improbable goal. And this is the one that you put out to the universe and you say, you know, this would be really nice to have. This would be really nice to have. And you visualize it. And for me, that's having accepting my Academy Award. And it is saying thank you to all of my friends and family and every single person who has ever downloaded, listened, and shared our podcast all over the world. It is people who have watched my talk show. It is people who have hired us to come speak, coach. It is all of the people who have poured wisdom and support and knowledge into us, our mentors. It is just, I mean, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can see it. I can. Now, I call it my wig because, I mean, an Academy Award, you're thinking, Jana, (laughs) <laughs> are you in a movie? Do you produce movies? Have Not you yet. written movies? <laughs> Not yet. And that's, However, I'm putting it out there and I'm feeling the feeling. And that wig or that outrageous goal is something you you can you envision out like 10 years or five years. It's like there's no possible way this can get done in a year. But it's on the list of this would be outrageous if this happened like if cra- if a genie popped out of a bottle and everything fell into place this year could that be something that happened cuz it could right it could there have been people that were in a movie this year got nominated and won an academy award i know and that's going to be me <laughs> and then i'm going to thank everybody because they not only wrote the movie it was my life story so god like created all these experiences get for rid me. of the pot i did all the songs and i i put it together and then i had the audacity to actually put it on a script and to go pitch it to people and they were like wow this this you've got some potential here yeah so get uh, rid of the prob- hun. <laughs> get rid of the probabilities and and allow space for the possibilities that's where it is when it comes to the the minimum, the target, and the outrageous. And these are all in track with just when you pick one single goal, you want to set that minimum, the target, and the outrageous. The in MTO. Okay, so that's, that's our thought. And celebrate the process and know that when you're going through the steps of these little things that you can do on a daily basis, that process equals progress. Turtle steps. The turtle always wins the race. So all we have to do is just take a little baby turtle step and we're going to get there. 
we're going to get there. And when you have an accountability partner, sometimes they can tell you, yes, you are making progress, even though it feels like you still have so much okay. further to go. Okay, Jason, they're playing the music, telling us to get off, get the, off stage. the stage. Wrap but I just want to thank, I just want to thank my mom and my dad <laughs> and the whole town of Belleville and the Orlando. Orlando has been so, so supportive I want to thank each and every one me. of you. And I want to do that by name starting right now. <laughs> but we're out of time, so thank keep you. living lucky. Thank you for downloading. Thank you for listening. And thank you for sharing. Email us if you have a comment. And keep living lucky. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.